All right, guys, what's up? Um, this video was requested a while ago, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to get to get through uh, videos. <sighs> All right, I was asked, what red dot do I get, or what kind of sights do I get? And you guys know me, you know the drill. Um, I personally recommend that you guys go through the experience yourself. And the easiest way to do that is, you know, if someone local to you um, has any kind of these mounts or red dots on their pistols or even on their rifles, simply just ask them to borrow it or, you know, shoot through it and see how you like it. Because right now I can tell you skirmishing and doing pistol competition are two different things. I, I don't care what anybody says. They are completely different. Um, I shoot different for in terms of competition, and I shoot different for skirmishing. Okay, I want to be blunt with you guys. Um, like I said, never. This is just my opinion. In the end of this video, I want you guys to formulate your own opinions. For me personally, sights do not work for me in skirmishing. Uh, it's, I just found it out over the years of playing airsoft. It just didn't. They don't work for me, and I'll explain later on. But. There are so many different types of mounts you guys can get, and when I'm, I'm going to try to show you the styles and the mounts, okay? But what you see commonly in the um, competition world, you're going to see a lot of Seymours, not sideways usually. Uh, they're mounted like usually these style, okay? Either single-sided or double-sided. This is how it looks. These are what's very common. Seymours are pretty much the most dominant. Um, they are the most dominant red dot in the market for pistols, hands down. I don't think anything else is more dominant than it. Second in place would probably be aim points, uh, the M2 and the uh, T1. Uh, but the M2, that's ancient. That's like that was a 90s fad. That pretty much died out. And to find an M2 mount, the joke is. I actually have a customer right now. We're trying to locate an M2 mount and it's for the pistol, and it's super hard. Well, there's the AIP one, but we want like an all aluminum one so we can anodize it. All right. I got off topic. Sorry, guys. But um, so this is a sideways mount. Now I'm not going to tell you which mount is the best. I I personally think, sure there are benefits and you know to how certain ones uh, styles they are. But to me, they're, they're just more for looks. But I know there are, you know, people will say you want a lightweight mount so you reduce the weight or you want a heavy mount and have it centered. So there's a lot of things, but we're not getting into that. What I want for you guys, and you already know me, uh, is, you know, I want you guys to do it yourself. Try it out and talk to people and see if you can shoot their guns, that kind of stuff. So this is a sideways. This is what it looks like when you look, you know, down it. It's, uh, it's cool, no doubt, but... It just it didn't work for me. That's but I want you guys to figure out what works for you. And then here you got this is a T1. Okay. The sight picture. The Glocks have a lot of mounts. Um, high Kappas just have a sh there's a shitload of mounts for a High Kappa. Here's another one, and this one is uh, this one screws right into. The TM stock frame. All you have to do is just punch out the two holes, and then you just you get your screw and you screw it in. So there's a, a lot of mounts, and what you should do is, I honestly think you should find out which red dot works for you first, then focus on that red dot you want, and you're going to need to get the mount that works for it because if you, you know, if you if you don't listen to, <laughs> listen to what I say and you say, oh, this this mount looks cool. You know, you look at this mount and say, oh, wow, this is a really cool mount. You buy it, and then you, you know, play it to, you know, see more, and you realize, well, I don't like it at all. Guess what? You like the aim point. This mount is now useless unless you do some heavy modifications, okay? So focus first on finding what red dot works for you. Uh, everyone's eyes and how you, how you shoot and all your stances and everything, or whatever, everything, that all matters. I, don't, I really don't think there's a perfect... Um, red dot. I think there's probably going to be a, one that a lot of people use, and that's the Seymour. But um, that's why I'm telling you guys straight up: just try it out. Don't don't drop any money. Try to you know search your local uh, airsoft community first. Try it out because everyone's eyes work differently. You know, genetics or whatever you want to call it. So first, figure out what red dot works for you. If it doesn't, then see if 
fiber optics work better for you. If red dots don't work for you at all, the next step down, what I, I would honestly think is, is using fiber optics. If that doesn't work, then you're probably what I what I am. I think they call I'm not sure I think they call it instinctual shooters, but I don't I don't think it's like a proven thing or whatever. Just go ahead and Google it and you'll see it. Uh, m most of us, I think, when you talk, because I met a few people that shoot like me, uh, skirmishers. I think maybe uh, maybe a, a lot of skirmishers do it. Just they don't know it. But basically, we just we shoot our first BB. And then we just track them there. You know, you sort of just memorize where your BB goes, and or if you spend a lot of time with your pistols, you sort of know it. But that's how I play airsoft, and that's uh, that's just how I came to it. And I'll get to that later. But um, where we're at, so there's sideways. These are easy mounts, okay? If you are not a fan of tapping your frame, these are easy mounts. And what they do is they go. That's what we have this guy for. Trying to show you guys easy mounts, I would say, are core for beginners. But if you are considering doing competition, don't even bother with the easy mount. Uh, quite honestly, uh, if you have competition and you're you know you're serious about it, just get a frame that has the properly mounted um, uh, mount. Okay, don't go with the easy route. Okay, guys, and it goes in right here. Okay, it basically replaces your slide release. It's very easy. Um, you don't technically have to tap it here. I I always do. I just tap and I thread it anyways. Uh, but you don't have to. But I would recommend it. But it's, you know, this should be easy enough for anyone to tap. Okay, that should be easy. This I will admit, um, it's a little it's a little scary at first. Uh, but once you start doing it, you, you get the hang of it. But um, I've seen a lot of people butcher their frames and you, <laughs> once you butcher it you butcher it so that that's a um, I can see why people want the easy mounts all right so there are this is a sideways sea war e easy mount this one is Seymour as well but it's a different style you guys can see where's the uh, blast shield blast shield in here okay blast shield is not in here but this is what the pins look like, guys. All right, you basically push them through here, and you you uh, Allen wrench both the sides. It's very easy, very straightforward, which is cool. Um, here's another one. This is 5KU. Uh, you know the sad thing, guys, is there's actually very few companies that make different variants. So you guys know me. I hate 5KU. I, I hate like a lot of clone companies, but sometimes they're the only ones that will make variants like lots of different variants otherwise you're stuck with um the usual like because airsoft surgeon and airsoft masterpiece they sort of all like they all come sort of from the same factory and they all make the same kind of mount if you want like weird outlandish mounts you sort of have to go get like tsc 5ku and a bunch of acm companies um and they're generally low quality <laughs> i don't know if you guys can even see that but there's there's uh, chips and dents on it, and it's you know it's it's, it's poorly. Uh, I think these are casted, and sometimes the, uh, the the threads they'll strip. So um, you have to be handy. I'll honestly say you have to be handy. Here's another 5KU one, but once again, look at the. It's very different. That's what's cool about these. But like I said, you have to be handy. I think for these 5KU ones or cheaper ones, because sometimes they don't—they're not like drop-ins or, or the like I said, it, the threads will break. So you gotta be handy. You got element. This is a short one. Okay. So there's a lot of different styles. I mean, you guys could spend hours. There's probably at least a hundred plus mounts out there. I'm talking about from the beginning of high cap of time. Okay, not. Not in the market now, no, there's not even close to 100 because a lot of them are long gone. Okay, uh, this is another, st oh, I already showed you guys this one. This is like, it's a bigger red dot. This is actually real steel st uh, Stormworks, but it's a piece of crap. Okay, so uh, my honest opinion, guys, is seriously, one, just try out. As many red dots as you can. There's gonna, you know, T1, M2, C more. I've even seen guys with EOTechs, but those are a little big for my taste. But you know, everyone's got different tastes. So 
try out all the red dots first. Once you centralize on what red dot works for, you, and you try to guys try to get play time with it. The reason why I didn't like red dots for me is just I I felt like it was um I felt like it was slowing me down, obstructing my view because I was focusing through the red dot, whereas I was always used to just looking at the full field view and forcing me to look through the red dot, you know, the window. It just, it, it felt like I was doing, I was shooting at people slower and the uh, skirmishing is a lot more dynamic than Ipsic. Ipsic, you can walk the course, you can plan where you're gonna be putting that red dot, boom, 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 you, you know, you walk the course. Uh, there's a couple moving targets on a course, but you already know about them because, you know, you can just go second and you can see what everyone does. So, um, the very skirmish and Ipsic guys are completely different, so don't get that confused. Just because everyone's running the Seymour and Ipsic, I don't think it makes it the best for overall. And that's why you guys need to go experience this stuff yourself. You will save money, you'll save yourself a headache, and you'll find out better about your, you know, what your, how you play, more about yourself. Okay, so focus on the red dot. After you do that, find out what mount you want. Uh, uh, Airsoft Surgeon, Airsoft Masterpiece, Pro Handgun, this is a depot. No, that's not a depot. I'm sorry. This is a depot. Uh, these were good. You know, mounts are mounts. Uh, if you there's a, if there's a style you would want and it's cool, I say just jump the gun and go for it, and uh, see if you like it. The only ones I will say stay away from is I don't know where it is. It was a ACM one, uh, a Glock one. It came with a comp barrel and mount. And it was just complete utter garbage. I guess my sa my safe rule would be, if it's ACM, and it's got like a lot of screw in parts, where you have to you know you have to sort of build the mount and it's held by a lot of screws. Be careful. That, that's my only advice I can give you on that. Uh, other than that, if you don't want to tap or you don't have anyone that's professional to tap your frame, look into easy mounts. But there's only going to be two styles. I think a depot. And Airsoft Surgeon, Airsoft Masterpiece, and Pro Handgun all have the, but they're all from the same factory, so it's the same shit. Alright, uh, I think I covered everything. I told you guys I'm sort of an instinctual shooter, so to be honest, I don't even play with sights. I, it's really weird, and I, I don't recommend it for anyone. Uh, it's just how I came about playing Airsoft, okay? And it's definitely not smart for, uh, in terms of cross-training. Because realistically speaking, if you're if you're trying to cross train and you you play airsoft and do ipsic, um, honestly, uh, play how you do uh, do how you I mean shoot how you do ipsic so you can help your cross training. You know, make sure it's the same. You progress in both areas. Otherwise, cause I, I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> All right, I think I've covered everything. I'll see you guys around. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I think I've covered everything important about red dots. And if you don't like red dots, just jump down to fiber optics. If you don't, guess what? You got your stock sights. Or if you don't even like stock sights, just go to rackers. If you don't like stock sights at all, I love rackers. You know, it just makes it easy to rack and it's cool. Alright? I'll see you guys down. Take it easy.